Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we are back in Quadrilateral Cowboy. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this series, loving this game. And um, today we're going to be doing the Repulse Bay Clinic. As um, Lou and Maisie talk to each other, <laughs> apparently. Our plant maybe has grown a little bit, but not too much that we can see. Let's go ahead and put our tape in. Let's see what we gotta do. Alright, so we need to download Brain from Come Award A. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um Okay. <sighs> As you can see we are in a different kind of um setting. Uh we have a thing called a midgy case uh KZ um, or yeah, KZ three something something something, and it says extended or external oxygen or so this is an oxygen mask that we're wearing or we're in space. Abby yo yo space elevator, what? This is a space buoy. It's saying since 1971. <laughs> I wish we were. I wish we had a space elevator in 1971. We'd be, be we'd be so much further in sp uh, space exploration by now, I would think, because we're constrained by the uh, limitations of our gravity as far as what we can build. And in space, we can um. In space, we can build as big as we wish. So first off, I want to I want to make a note about everything. This game is made by Brandon Chang, I believe is his, his believe his name is, sorry. And he's put all these signs. Welcome. It is now safe to remove breathing equipment. Please return breathing equipment. There we go. Moving part hazard. I mean, all these little signs. This one right here. Um, a containment. Um, a contaminant requiring special handling and disposal in accordance with NA Environmental Protection Agency Regulations 50 CFR 295. I mean, just that. Those kind of things. In in the game being by one person. I don't know if he has a team behind him or not, but I mean, just the little things, all these little signs, si the signage that he puts around everything, um, observation airlock procedures, um, pressurize hazard, check seal and gauges. Do not forget your breathing equipment. And here we have a midgy self-contained breathing equipment Enjoy that midgy oxygen. Feel that midgy feeling. Midgy. Safety Equipment Division. Manufactured in Nuevas Aires. I hope I'm saying that correctly. So, um, we can pull here and we can get another suit. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. I mean, if we... Look at how specific that is. You can see the mask. It's kind of hanging down here. I wish we could actually pull it out. Oh, we can. And you can see the mask is, is sewing it around. That's just really cool. Um, let's go. Come on. You can fit back in there. All right. Um, so we have this. Looks like a robot. Make an honest moral inventory of yourself. Okay. Um, so we have three, four doors. Um, this is Como Ward A, it looks like. C and B. We may actually be able to get all three of these um, in one. This is an observation nook. Coley Hernandez uh, Memorial. Okay, so that was made in the, uh, in the name of Coley Hernandez. All right, so Como Ward A. Please don't tap glass. Alright. I guess this is how you would get a food tray in there, but why would you put some why would you have this? Because I mean unless a doctor's in there, 
someone is in there how would they get into here anyway i'm thinking too much uh we know for one thing we need to get uh, i know come on stop moving all over the place for some reason it is double clicking whenever i'm single clicking there we go and let's get this started so that is the aim bot so let's go ahead and type aim bot okay um let's see if we can string some commands together um deploy <laughs> i was gonna say connect connect um cam zoom five okay so turn negative two turn negative two okay fire all right so that wasn't too bad um i you expect that it's not going to be too bad for the first one um let's see here so <laughs> look at that um looks like it has a hard drive on each side um again warning labels um this shows who it's made by it has a warranty uh warranty is void if any label or screw is removed or broken model Check number all kinds of things on there that little detail is what i really like um of games especially whenever you know that the person that you're playing is square that those are kind of squarish um this game is built off of I'm going to say it wrong, I believe, like the Doom or Quake platform. And so uh, you think about that and then you think about um, what is being accomplished in this game. And it just makes it feel so much better that someone put that much time in everything that is in this game. Pressurization door, compression writing 90 minutes meets ul two uh 20k mp4 <laughs> i mean look at that um all right uh restricted wing press both buttons simultaneously okay is this something i'm gonna have to use the aimbot on or can i just do okay um good <laughs> uh good thing i don't have to use the aimbot um okay so we do have two buttons here though so let's go ahead and put down the aimbot. Um, something like that. You bum. Now it's going to jump all over the place. <laughs> all right. Let's see. There you go. Put that there. And put that there. And put that <laughs> there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we should already have the string that we're going to use. Okay, that was pretty pretty sick. So let's go ahead and find out what the distance is between those. So we're going to go ahead and turn negative um, 4. Turn negative 2. Okay, that's dead on. So... This is a really easy one, um, I think. Fire. Um, turn six. Fire. Yes, indeed. Okay. So this one wasn't too bad either. It's just um, trying to figure out um, the, what you're going to do, if it needs any wait time, anything like that. Okay, we got our casings, and um, your brain is mine. <laughs> All right, and it is done. Next one is Sea Ward. So let's go ahead and see what's going on in there. Get it? See? See what's going on in there? Ah! <laughs> not funny 
Okay, so quarantine, uh, restricted room access, so we can't use the slot to shoot anything, and there isn't anything behind it that we could shoot. There's that there. Glass, handle a care, so we could probably shoot that glass. Oh. An orange. <laughs> okay, I gotta tell you what's important about the orange, but uh, it looks like that's what we're going to have to shoot through and we've already talked about this already that this is a um, non-breathing air atmosphere outside of us so we need to go ahead and get this on all right so oranges <laughs> why why i'm so excited about the orange this is the first orange that i've seen since they came out with the new expansion pack the other day and the new expansion pack is to find all the oranges. They added oranges to the game, and that's it. It was called the Citrus um, Patch. <laughs> that was that was literally the only thing that they added to the game. Ah, you, you bum. Okay, let's see if we can get on there. That should be fine. All right, but yeah, they added oranges. I don't know. I don't know if. You can take them with you. Okay, let's go ahead and put this over here. And let's go ahead and put our video system there. All right. So this one, deploy. Um, turn negative one. Turn 0.5. That should be good. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. It looks fine. All right, so fire. Is the door open? Door is open. Okay, let's go ahead and get that and that. Let's go ahead and pick up our orange. Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> Uh, we must have some kind of boots on that allow us to... Uh. Okay, now it's falling. Okay, good. Alright. So, let's not hurt ourselves on, on that. Um, so, we get the last one. Let's talk about this, because I don't know if this is something that they thought about whenever they made this, this part of the game. They have pretty much doomed this individual to death. Um, it would probably only take seconds, even though he has Z's coming out of his head. But he would be dead now, because of us having to shoot through this, this window. So that's kind of sad. I mean, we... We uh, are doing our job, getting our oranges, but we ended up having to kill an individual over it. So that's kind of sad if you think about it that way. All right, and let's go ahead and put this here. And turn that. Where's my orange? Where's my orange? Oh, did I lose my orange? <gasps> okay, orange, <laughs> orange is still there. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. Don't. Okay. Come on. Okay, we got orangey. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I wonder if they thought about that whenever they made that part. Um, that they were potentially making the gamer, the us, kill an individual to be able to complete a mission. Hmm. The deeper thoughts. But that's not what we're worried about now. Shopping expedition, yeah. <laughs> this is what our what we come down to. Music. <laughs> okay. Whoa, wait a minute. This isn't the yellow cat anymore. This. Wait a minute. Okay. First, I'm gonna go ahead and let him flip the script. All right. So this shows us the evolution from when we started the game. Because remember when we started, it was, um, and it went from, I believe, January all the way to December. And 
we have now seen this cat go from a tiny kitten because we had the first mission was just the yellow cat second mission it was this little kitty right over here meowing the fourth um third fourth mission was it we had like a row of kittens and now this kitten has taken over its mommy or daddy's job oh the evolution of time <laughs> blink.exe is our new tech so let's see what it does guided by wireless physical command macro blink or q um makes wireless signal to deck commands so wait a minute wait, wait a minute are we all right so it says type blink i i have an idea what this is telling us so i'm writing this down here um what this says is blink blink count so blink blink count so let's say one blink and then the command okay so we have the aimbot already selected so i'm going to make a long string of commands and see if it does everything that i tell it to so the first string is going to be deploy connect wait one fire turn 10 fire exit because I saw the weaver is on here also or the weevil um, exit weevil or weaver weaver connect no move 10 wait 5 um stand jump okay that's a very long command um but i want to see if i can do two things at once if i can make this shoot and this um afterwards walk so here we go one blink <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Okay. So wait a minute. Let's go ahead and put this back down here. All right. I'm gonna redo the command this time, <laughs> just because. Um, exit. Aim bot. Um, help. Uh, close. Okay. Exit. Blink. One. Exit. Aim bot. Deploy. Connect. Wait. Two. Fire. Turn. 10 fire exit <laughs> waiver connect nell stand go 50 wait 5 jump Okay, it's a long string, but let's see if it does it this time. Because we have Nell down here, or Nell, yeah, that's Nell. Um, we have uh, the aimbot up here. Let's do it. No way. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? Oh my goodness. Okay. That's a long string if we'll ever use something like that. I have no clue, but I am now infatuated with this new ability <laughs> because um, actually it shows that this time it shot a little bit lower and this time it was dead on. 
But either way, that's not going to worry us. We have a carpool to attend to. So, okay, I was going to say, so who are we going to pick up? And we're not picking up anyone. Someone's picking up me. That means we get to learn who we are. Oh, yeah. Who's this guy? What? I can actually... What? Oh, it's the clock. It's the clock. Okay. Anyway, some inter um, some gentleman. Um, <laughs> all right. So we are Poncho, which now makes sense. Look at that. That's that's a Poncho. I never noticed that before. <laughs> So that's a poncho. Um, let's go go ahead and change. What's this say? It's not allowing me to turn it. Okay. Swing it. Swing it. Uh, okay, there it is. Compassion Fatigue World Tour 1978. <laughs> it's so messy. Um, Alright, so we also have pictures here we repair anything uh, no job too big no job too small ask for rates then we have um thank you deriftu <laughs> um here's lou this might be her boyfriend um Maisie and myself and again um aries um east regional This is um, Claw Math Crick Adult School. Okay. And we have a. It looks like she's been working on her programming. Let's see what's going on up here. Private Void. Okay. It looks like it starts up there. So let's go ahead and bring that down. All right. So. Private Void, Update Planet. Okay, so this is this is your normal intro. Of course, um, it, I don't know what language they're using in this because uh, in C++, you would have two dots at the end of that. And then it says, if world state equals, uh, two equals, um, <laughs> two equals, equal, equal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, you have to put two equals for it to equal something in um, in a programming language. And then if also active wormhole transition is greater than one, float delta equals float. Okay, so float, by the way, means it is a number that can be um, like... Int, uh, integer or int means it is um, a solid number. So it would, if it was 4.5, it would be 4 or 5. But with float, you can actually see the decimal point. So it can be 4.5 or 3.265, something along those lines. Uh, where it can't be if it's just a straight integer. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to hear all that but anyway these are openers these the symbols here these are closers to the same symbol and then also continue on so yeah we now know our name our name is poncho we know everyone we work with now except for we don't know the boyfriends um okay laboratory or lab laboratory uh, anyway restroom <laughs> nook Jalopy chili, one pound ground turkey. Okay, I understand. Two cans of dark red kidney beans. Oh my goodness, is this a real? Is this a real recipe? Okay, put everything in a slow cooker. Cook on low for eight hours. What? Okay, I'm gonna take a snapshot of that, or just take a look at that for you guys. Hold there for a second. And there you go. You now have a new recipe in your... <laughs> hey, Lou! 
That's awesome. I mean, <laughs> just the little details, guys. Just the little details make a square world round. If, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but anyway, this is the end of the video. We now know what the next um, job is going to be, which is the Valencia Villa. Uh, Villa. And we got copyright. Oh, hey yo. And um, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed. And um, I sure did. I mean, I'm loving this game. Um, I will talk to you next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.